Jive from Emily Cat 176. I am currently standing outside the Athenaeum Theatre. I'm going to be seeing The Woman in Black. So this is Collins Street. I'm in the middle of the city, which I don't really like coming in too much because it's just this is the show I'm seeing today. Daniel McPherson and I'm looking forward to it. Okay, bye. Hello, it's Joe from Emily Cat 176 and it's Monday, so it's the start of another week. So uh, I'm going to be talking about a show I saw last week. This is the first of the two shows I saw last week. I went into the CBD. And I, I don't do that very often because a lot of the shows there, uh, they're very expensive. And as you probably know by now, I concentrate on suburban arts. But I saw this one advertised and I thought, oh, yeah, this one looks good. So I did buy a ticket. It was very interesting, actually, because I bought some of the cheaper seats and there was quite a section that was empty in front of us and someone said to me they were the more expensive seats now i mean the show was good but this is where you go to the art you know the suburbs and much more affordable arts and they're just as good but this show i saw i went in on wednesday actually and saw it the woman in black now, I understand it's been on the West End in London. I don't know. I don't know where else it's been. But this production starred John Walters. So it's all Australian actors. The one that actually, actually, no. The, the woman that played the woman in black, she was, um, they didn't say what her name was. She wasn't in the title. So she did a good performance. Um, so it was John Walters and Daniel McPherson. This is mainly a two-person play. And can I say how good it is to see a play? I actually went back through the website and it's over a year since I've seen a play. I've seen plenty of other things, but not a, an actual play. And there's nothing like sitting in a theatre watching a play on stage. It's just, it was, I really enjoyed it. So The Woman in Black, it's a scary play. That's the title, you know, it's a frightening play. Um, yeah, there was a few <gasps> moments in it, you know, but that's with loud noises and, and of course all the sound effects and everything. Uh, the acting was very good. John Walters is a veteran Australian actor. He's done everything. Um, he's even been in play school. And play school, if you don't know, is a children's program that was on the ABC. And if you really want to see him in his prime, because he was our good looking man when he was younger, um, look at Rush. Rush was on the ABC, I think that was on the ABC as well, back in the 70s. So that just goes to show how much work he's and how long he's been working and he's been working that long because he is a good actor the real surprise for me was Daniel McPherson now what I knew of Daniel McPherson he was in the soaps that's what I thought I think he's he's been in Neighbours um, I think he's been on commercial TV I don't watch commercial TV and I think he's been on one of the dancing shows or the host of it or something. But what a fine stage actor he is. He was, he, I was very surprised. He was that good. And he's the character that's terrified in most of it. And it was all very believable. And he was really, he gave a really good performance. So... Would I recommend people see it? Yes. It's a really good play. Now, I sort of guessed I sort of guessed what 
what the story might be behind the play. But um, even with that, it was still good. And it's made me realise I want to see more live theatre. If you look at my website, I see a lot of stuff. I see a lot of, because you know, I love the arts. And even in the suburbs, there's plays. And I'm going to look at seeing some more plays because I really enjoyed being back in the theatre. It was at the Athenaeum. And I don't know if I've ever been to the Athenaeum. If I have, it was a long time ago. And at the end of this video, I'll show you a little bit of footage that I took inside. It's a beautiful old theatre in Collins Street in the CBD here in Melbourne. So, yeah, that was the first. I said I've, I've seen two shows last week, which I don't normally do. But, um, no, I really enjoyed it. And it was worth the trek into the city. Uh, I probably won't go back there to see any shows for quite a while because as I said a lot of people have asked me because we've got Sunset Boulevard on here at the moment with Sarah Brightman I think that's her name a lot of people have asked me if I've gone and seen that no tickets are too expensive I can see so many other shows that are good and that what I'm interested in in the suburbs for one of those expensive shows Having said that, I know when I'm going back in, it will be September because Brenda and I are going in to see Victorian Opera, I think it is, Sweeney Todd. So that'll be September. But as I said, I've got other things booked, but not 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 in this not in the CBD. And you know, I always talk to the people around me and I'm always saying to them, look to the suburbs look at the suburban art centres and see what they are showing. So, yeah, that was my Wednesday. As I said, it was it was really good and it was it was worth it. Even if I don't do it very often, it was worth it. And for all of you in Australia, if it's a touring production, yes. I would recommend people see it because as I said, it was a very simple set, simple set and just like two actors on stage and it was good. And it's short too, two hours, including the interval. So that's quite a short play. So yeah, that's the first one. As I said, next Monday I'll tell you about the one I saw on Friday. But Because um, I'm, I'm lucky, I'm so lucky to be seeing all these things. But I do it in an affordable way. So enjoy the rest of your week. I will be back on Wednesday with another poem. I hope people are enjoying the poems. You know, I asked the question, is it a dying art form? People said, no, no, we love it. Well, then we've got to talk about it. So, as I said, enjoy the rest of your week. And I will be back on Wednesday. Okay, bye. A lovely old thing. Oh, but the thing is.